Hello, White Bear Lake United Methodist family. I wanted to come on live today. We've just heard the verdict uh, in the Derek Chauvin trial. And I wanted to come on and just have a chance for us to pause together and reflect on this moment. Uh, it's been a, a week, really a whole season of heightened anxiety for our community, for, for all of us, and uh, certainly for the people who have been most uh, connected to the process of this trial and uh, also to the, the murder of George Floyd that happened almost a year ago. Uh, the process has uh, seemingly moved along quickly, but for the people involved, it's been a, a very long and hard year and also for many of the people uh, loosely connected who live in the community where uh, the murder took place or also who uh, work in our court system and who are involved in various ways in this process. So I wanted us to just take a moment together and be able to pause and reflect for a moment. There will be so many words spoken about this verdict and there already have been so many spoken about this trial and about the murder itself. But I invite us to just Pause first for a moment of quiet together, and then I'll read a short blessing I'd like to share with you. Let's just be in a moment of silence together. I'd like to just share with you these words of the artist and writer, Jan Richardson. You hold the memory of what it was to be whole. It lives deep in your bones. It abides in your heart that has been torn and mended a hundred times. It persists in your lungs that know the mystery of what it means to be full, to be empty, and to be full again. I'm not asking you to give up your grip on the shards you clasp so close to you, but to wonder what it would be like for those jagged edges to meet each other in some new pattern that you have never imagined, that you have never dared to dream, never dared to dream. So may we today be in prayer for the family of George Floyd who have received justice for his death today, but they have not received their loved one back. May we also be in prayer for all those members of the jury, all those involved in this trial, those who have covered it in the press, those who have watched it daily as if their life depended on it. May we also remember Mr. Chauvin, who also has a family and people who love him, May we hold him and them in our hearts as well. And may we hold our whole community in our hearts today as we await the outcome of just the reaction to this verdict and this news. It's been a long year for all of us, and so let's be kind to each other, be loving, be at peace, and may God bless you. Amen.